Hi. There you go. <laughs> hey guys, Bianca Bell here. So here's a video I've been meaning to make for a while. I get a lot of questions as to how I black out and set my eyes when I wear my hurricane mask. So this tutorial is going to be useful to anyone who needs to black out their eyes for a mask, whether you're a Batman cosplay or a Batgirl cosplay or any blackout related around the eye costume Robin I don't know. It, I think this would be useful to a lot of people anyway. So I'm going to show you guys how to go from ghost face to this. Okay, now that I've got my hurricane wig on, we can get started. So it should be noted that I'm actually wearing my normal full face of makeup. I always have a full face of makeup on when I black out my eyes. This is just because I need the lower half done of my face anyway when I wear the mask. And I feel like the products adhere better. Um, when I've already got foundation and powder on and then I can just build up layers on top of that But anyway, we'll get to that shortly. By the way, you guys this amazing wig that I was just talking about It is custom made by Wiggers Fashion. It is one of their custom lace fronts All I did was go to their website choose a style which was basically what I already wanted But I just wanted the colors swapped around so they did that for me and it is one of my favorite wigs. I think it's stunning. <laughs> Another thing I'd like to make note of before we start is my amazing hurricane mask. Just a shout out to BB Props, my amazing friend Brett. So he cast my face and then he made this based on the cast and it is seriously one of my favorite cosplay pieces I own. I absolutely love it and Boy, does it smell so good when you put it on. There will be links in the description for Wiggers Fashion and BB Props. And I'm also going to list the products that I'm using in the description box as well. So as I was saying before, this process is just about building up layers. So you literally only need a couple of handfuls of products and that's including your applicators to be applying your products with. <laughs> I literally did not do a lot of research into products that I wanted to use. I just knew I wanted a really good brand of cream colors to actually black out my eyes with and I just needed a loose powder to go on top and some sponges and whatever and I've just been sticking with that routine this whole time it works really well for me so the black I use is the Ben Nye cream colors pot that is the CL-29 black for my waterline I also decided to get Ben Nye's magic color cream crown in velvet black MJ-2 but you'd easily be able to use any regular black eyeliner to set the black I use Maybelline's loose powder in my complexion which is light I also have a cheap sponge and just my regular foundation brush to apply everything with and to set everything in place I use NYX or NYX's, <laughs> I'm never sure which one it is. I use their setting spray in matte. Now the first thing I like to start off with is my waterline. Super, super important in my opinion to do your waterline. I see a lot of cosplayers that don't and honestly it takes away from the look for me. I like absolutely everything to be blacked out and when you've got that little ring of red, I don't know, I think it kind of spoils it. So what I like to do is fill in my waterline at the bottom, but I also like to take it into the corners and up the top if I can. Now forgive me, this is not going to be um, the <laughs> most fancy applying process. I literally just have everything in my lap right now. I don't have a table or something I can use, so forgive me. Yeah, sorry I couldn't show you guys that full applying process. It's a little bit hard without a table in front of me. But literally, just get rid of that fleshy tone around your eyes. It'll make the look so much cooler. Next part is the blackening. Now, before you do this, you might want to just line up your mask and make sure you don't go into areas where there's not supposed to be black. <laughs> I know I've done that before. I've gotten a little bit on my nose and stuff like that and I've needed to fix up my makeup and everything. But anyway, so just make sure you line up and you have an idea of where everything should start and end. Um, another thing to note as well, when you are making expressions in your mask and you've got quite a lot of area to fill like I do, I find that I really need to take it all the way above my eyebrows just to make sure everything stays nice and black the whole time. So be generous with this. Just, just, just get in there. <laughs> and again, this is not a glamorous process. You just whack it on.
You end up looking a little bit like a raccoon. <laughs> Make sure you just really get into your eyes as well because there will be some gaps here and there so don't be afraid to just get in there just whack it in you know now as you can see See, everything is looking pretty nice and raccoony at the moment. That's what we want. So now I'm going to go in with my loose powder and set this first layer. Now, the first thing you might notice is that now that I'm setting this eye, it seems a bit duller and a bit more gray in comparison to this eye. Um, and this is the reason why I like to do at least two or three layers of black. It just, it gets nice and black. <laughs> and it just really makes the appeal of the mask that much cooler, you know? Now, I don't, I don't wait to apply another layer. I just, I just go ahead and do it. <laughs> and you can see that difference already that is starting to get really really black up the top and that's what we want <laughs> and while you're doing this as well just make sure you're looking into different lights because sometimes you can see some fleshy colour coming through and I think we've established that I don't personally like that and that's not what we're trying to achieve so just make sure you're looking absolutely everywhere. <laughs> okay now that I've done that layer I'm gonna go in once again with my loose powder and set it again and I might stop after this layer just depending on how I feel I might put my mask on and see how it looks. Fuck. <laughs> now, it doesn't matter. It literally, it doesn't matter how much powder you put on, it's fine. Just blend that, blend it out. Blend, blend, blend. It's all good. And if it's not, again, if it's not black enough for you, do another layer. No stress at all. So now I'm going to grab my mask and just see what I think. Even I can see in the camera that's looking pretty good. Um, that's honestly pretty good, but I think I am going to do just one more layer. I do, I do like to be like Batman. I like to be the knight. So let's do one more layer and set it and I think we'll be right. I find a lot of the time as well it's my eyebrows that seem to get a bit lighter. It's the most open space so it feels like it gets more reflection I guess so I like to make sure particularly those top parts are nice and dark. <laughs> Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Actually, one more bit, one second. Yep, there we go. Okay, now we're looking good. Next thing you should do is just check your waterline again because you might find that after using the sponge a fair bit, um, it might have taken away some of your waterline. So I've got a little bit just in here. I'm not sure if you can see that I don't really like. It's looking a bit fleshy, so I'm just gonna go in and fix that up. And again, don't, don't stress about getting everything nice and straight. Just whack it on, it's fine. So with us completely raccooned up, 
it's time for some setting spray and I like to do a few layers of this as well and um, let it set because that's that's its job eh now you don't have to wait very long for that to set just wait until it's dry and you're good to go and when you're all nice and dry it's time for the fun part donning the mask yay And there we have it so as you can see it's a really really easy quick process it takes you like five minutes depending on how many layers you want to do but if you do build up those layers you are going to get a much darker more lovely seamless looking black eyes <laughs> that will blend in with your mask really really well and just complement the whole entire look. If you need any further assistance with this, just post in the comments down below and I'll do my best to help you. By the way, you guys, if you'd like to see my full gender bent hurricane costume, check out my social media links in the description box. I post mostly on Instagram. Um, you'll be able to see lots of pictures of my hurricane there and not only my hurricane, but other wrestling cosplays and also my other cosplays that are not wrestling related. So I'd love it if you guys would check that out. And if you're not already following me, What's up with that? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe as well, that would be super amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.